broader context. What is your most important stewardship? Some would say the family, certainly more than finances. Um, I'm going to suggest that your most important stewardship is the battle for your heart. That's really the, the issue, the larger issue that we're going to be dealing with. Paul warned his protege Timothy in the second letter, it says, know that also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than the lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. From, from such, turn away. Indeed, this is one of the fundamental signs that we are clearly moving into the last days. And there is a path to oblivion, I'll call it. And clearly it starts by being in a society that's uh, committed to secularism. Clearly we live in a culture which maintains there really is no God. And from that conviction, or lack thereof, comes the view that there is no truth. We live in a time when truth is relative. You have your truth, I have mine kind of thing. And Alan Bloom highlighted the fact that if you don't believe in an absolute truth, that puts a total valuelessness to history. And we wonder why in the universities our young people have no real interest in the great ideas of the past because the quest for truth would be futile. There is no real truth. We each have our own. It's interesting Isaiah warned us of this. People ask me, where 